Good morning. I wanted to show you the place I'm in, the place that is home at the moment, or the place that maybe I should say I'm located in, or I make my locations. Here it is. I bring you here because I wanted to talk about location. Um, location not as in a place, uh, a geography like the UK, but more location to people um, and to ways of being um, that are the cornerstone of who we can be and who we are. Um, and I was thinking about what I say I'm located to, and I want to desperately be located to, um, to gentleness and to kindness, um, to love, to love, which is a hugely important thing. Um, and, and in locating to those things, what I want to do is to make sense of the dislocated moments. Um, I know I get dislocated quite often. It's almost like my compass towards the location I want to be in or the location that is truly mine um, just gets pulled away. It's almost like um, my true north towards that location is somehow broken, somehow dislocated. And in that dislocation, I often find that I act in a way that my located self would never do. Or I perhaps use language that my located self would never do. Which makes me think that who and what I'm located to is critical as to who I am. And how I know and when I know that dislocated moment, it's only through knowing what I'm really truly located to that I can make sense of those moments, connect with those moments, um, acknowledge those moments as dislocated moments. And I was thinking about relocating, something that we all need to do all of the time. I, I recently went to Ecuador with my very lovely big sister and, and Jax and it was such a location, a location to sounds, to tastes, to people, to the beauty of my childhood, of, of all sorts of things. And I was thinking, well, what what was that location? That location was about the learnt kindness, the learnt love, the learnt patience. And I was thinking, I get so dislocated sometimes in my fury to work hard, to do the right thing, to kind of fix things, to make things, to even in lockdown, to find ways. And yet that dislocates me, dislocates me from my true north, from the located place that is me. I was also thinking that to be located, who am I in that location? Who am I in the location of where I am imbued with wholeness and wellness? And, and I was remembering that the Bible talks about human beings being made in the image, in the image of God. And, and God is love. God is love. So love being a location, a location for us to seek and to connect with. And I was thinking if we're made in the image of God and God said after he made creation and he made us, and I say he loosely because it could be she, 
I mean, who can tell? It could be they. I mean, after all, it is the Trinity. And yet, and yet once they saw, they said, this is good. This is good. So your located self is a self that looks in the mirror and says, wow, this is good. And it's not about a beauty as in the magazines. It's the beauty of the located place that you can be in, the beauty of kindness and gentleness, the beauty of love, love in all its shapes and forms. So I wanted just to talk about that this morning, just as a way of perhaps needing you to think about your location. What are you located to? Who are you located to? And the dislocations that are happening in this current time, the dislocations of our government, the dislocations of not being able to meet with people, not being able to connect in the way we would naturally do. And thinking about how we relocate, relocate to the important things, the things that really matter. Have a good day.